I appreciate your video, especially this video reply coming from somebody like you, yourself, the young person. And the fact that you were raised around a group of people who spoke differently, it's a testimony to your true color. Because you are not only a black woman, you are a beautiful young black woman at that. And just because you don't sound like everybody else, don't never let nobody test your blackness. And I know on this video, I was saying black girl, black girl, or whatever. Come on. Everybody has a point to where they're going to be disrespectful to the other person in the relationship. And it doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter if you're the man or the woman in the relationship. People are going to say the most harmful thing during combat, in the argument, in the fight. And what I was saying in this video was, don't assume that this guy is better than that guy because of whatever his argument may be. And, you know, hopefully I prove my point. I love you for this video because a lot of people do not understand that part of it. And I understand how you're talking, how your friend changed up. Let me give you an example right now. Phone rings. <clears throat> Hello, how can I help you? Yes. Okay. Now, phone rings and it's a homie. What's up, man? How you doing? Uh huh. Yeah, nigga, you tripping, man? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. See, the thing is this. I do that all the time during the course of my day. You speak to people. And each person I speak to, I speak to different. Um, I work around a lot of Hispanic people. And they say, after a few hours, I speak with an accent. And, and I'm going to try to do the accent here because I can do the accent. After a few hours, they say, I speak with an accent. And I find myself doing it sometimes. Sometimes after a few hours, I'll speak like this. The whole vernacular and everything changes it changes like a chameleon I will talk to my friends and everyone around like this because this is how everyone speaks at work sometimes and I don't mean to be disrespectful but that's how it goes sometimes it comes on and off it goes on like this and then and off and sometimes I don't speak with an accent I remember when I was younger and um I worked at a fast food place and I was at the counter and everyone that walked up to me I spoke in a different language or with a different accent so you know I thought I was gonna be an actor one day so I could actually turn it on and off just by thinking or being around certain people for a certain amount of time and the longer I am around these people the more and more my voice emulates theirs. And it's weird like that. Sometimes I can go on for hours and hours just being a regular person, speaking in a language where everyone can understand what I'm saying. And sometimes I just break down and, you know, have to talk like this. You know, a lot of people feel that I'm making fun of other people. The fact that you speak in your voice and you can't turn it on and off, you can't change it when you need to, it shows that you've been in a secure place. A place where people try to teach you to speak in a manner towards you would garner the more respect, the most respect. I appreciate your parents for the job they've done. An excellent job on raising a beautiful young person. And the fact that you don't sound black, the fact that you don't carry yourself hood is a plus. Because you can do whatever you want to do. You can be whatever you want to be. You're not confined to what someone told you that you are or that you have to be like. You are true.
truly an individual and you need to be applauded because you're not falling subject to, to the situation around you you talk like you talk that's who you are that does not make you white that does not make you black that makes you an individual so regardless of what voice you use which accent you try to use during the day regardless of how you carry yourself regardless of how you sound regardless of what you think that you may be you're just an average human girl who's trying to have a good life Who's trying to be respected? Who's trying to have what her parents set out for her to have and more? Thank you for being yourself. Thank you for being real. You've been tuned.